Hey, hey look at this guy. All right, so first up in Walk Corner, we have here our, our, our new friend, uh, personal, like we've met actually in person, stopped by a couple weeks ago. His name is Thomas. You see Thomas there on your left, and a handsome man right there in the blue sweatshirt, sweater in your right, and that is, as you know, our fearless leader, Ben Giddy Baker. Tom and Ben took a moment to uh, walk around the shop and uh, check things out, and uh, it was just really... I, I know that Ben's already addressed the fact that Tom has stopped in. I think it was I think he addressed it last week, but it's just it's a real privilege to have people who are able to uh, from far off who travel through the area. Uh, you, generally, they come into Boston for a reason, and we're about an hour north of Boston. Um, and it's it's really really nice to have people come through and introduce themselves and come see what it is that we do here and how we do it. Uh, and so it was a real pleasure to meet Thomas. He's a heck of a guy, and he builds really cool instruments. And I know that because I've seen them on the interwebs. Speaking of which, in the next image, you'll see uh, a, he, Thomas is really big into uh, building ukuleles. Here you see one of his ukuleles that, that he actually posted on Cigar Box Nation. That's where I pulled this photo from. And uh, you can see there something that I like to see happen that I actually have still yet to do in my life, which is to build an instrument using the bottom of the box, thereby having the lid open for, uh, for any sort of purpose, whether it be to uh, access the electronics, to glue and bracing, all the other stuff. And in speaking of which, about that, in the next image, what you'll see is the, uh, and the inside look from the back of the box, the lid open, and the bracing. Now, that is some fancy pants, smart kid stuff that you got going on in there, Thomas. Uh, I don't do the, uh, the bracing thing, but I have a lot of admiration for the people who uh, have the, the skill and the know-how to do, to, to do so, so adroitly, if you will, because mm -hmm. uh, that is some good-looking stuff, man. And uh, I don't know how people glue those braces into such a box, but I'll bet you we have an image that will show you, because next up, in the next image, actually, Thomas has all these bamboo poles. I don't know what's on top, but they're all waiting down the, uh, the, the bracing as, they, uh, as they're being glued in. I've never seen this before. I don't know how you did it, Thomas, but I know, I think, <laughs> I know it looks really cool. So I just really am I'm psyched to have your work here on the show and to, to be able to, to display some of your, uh, at least one of your tricks. Not all the details, obviously, but I don't know how you did that. All those bamboo shoots. Weighing down the brace and as they're gluing into the uh, into the ukulele. That is some really uh, that's some smart kid stuff, Thomas. So thank you very much for sharing your pictures on Cigar Box Nation. I think it's a better website for it. So thank you. Next up, speaking of having uh, Cigar Box Life being better off for, I got we got uh, our friend Randy B of uh, what's it Mojo Bone Works. Mojo Bone. Mojo Bone. Uh, this guy, I don't know how to. He does stuff that makes me shake my head, and I and shake my head in disbelief at how intense. The work that he does is this is a jack plate we sell jack plates metal jack plates gold chrome they're beautiful we put them in kits uh they're hot sellers uh turns out randy makes them his own out of wood this here that you can see is purple heart a purple heart jack plate outstanding craftsmanship that doesn't come out of a mold that has i assume uh, or presume that is all hand carved stuff and i just rat is really attractive in the next image you'll see another jack plate which is uh osage osage um blood orange osage i don't know osage but nonetheless uh another beautiful jack plate again it's got to be hand carved i don't know how you do it randy i don't even know if you're gonna be able to see, if you're gonna see this particular what corner but i'm impressed he posted a couple of photos showing how he does it oh. on one of the groups today. Ah, my <laughs> it's bad. It's pretty cool. It's out there. Randy B of Randy Bretts of uh, Mojo Bone Works has posted images then of how he does these incredible jack plates. I'm sorry that I did not. Uh, I'm not up to speed to, to have shared them here, but awesome stuff, Randy. And the next image, another Randy image. Uh, we have uh, bone markers. Hey, bone fret markers. Bone, yeah, fret markers. They're in just really the detail. You know, it's that it's that family of builders like. Rob Roble, Randy Bretts, these guys who are putting out these just high-end, really superior quality works of craftsmanship. Outstanding work. And I was so inspired by this, Randy. I don't know if you're going to see this, but I was so inspired by this. I can't help but think we sell 
as you know, uh, here at CB Giddy, bone nuts and bone saddles. You could do this. You out there right now, a lot watching, could do this yourself. You can get the bone nuts from us. You can shave them down or shape them in any way you want, and you can make these fret markers just like Randy has done here. Uh, we sell our bone nuts uh, in uh, or bone pieces in white, uh, black. We may have a couple other colors available. At working some point. on it. We're, we're working on it. Um, but I, you know, Randy, I, again, I don't know if you're going to see this, but I'm a real. Big, I've said it out uh, on the interweb, but I'm saying it here too. I'm a really big admirer of your, excuse me, of your work. Outstanding. And the the last, uh, the last tip of the hat to Randy is this uh, this banjo bridge. That he's uh, another handcrafted banjo bridge. What did you make this one out of? Uh, the bottom is sycamore and the top is snake wood. I think just shiny and new. I. Don't know how you do it, Randy, but awesome stuff. I hope some uh, somebody out there in the audience sees it and is, uh, is is inspired by it as I am. So thank you very much, Randy. Uh, next up, we have an image that I put together. It is terrible, and I'm sorry for my lack of ability to do anything well with uh, photo stuff. But this is actually the the five uh, thumbnails of Dell's series. You can see there his master class series. I just want to make sure to, to he Dell made this five part series on YouTube, a masterclass how to build a cigar box guitar. He loaded that thing up with Giddy parts and I saw him using Giddy uh, com uh, component, uh, templates and whatnot uh, in the videos. Just awesome stuff. Uh, if I think I'm preaching to the choir here. If you're watching this show, you probably are already very familiar with Dell and his work. But if you're not, please go check out Dell on his YouTube channel. He's a, he's a, he is a Giddy Gangster. He is a supporter of CB Giddy. We support him. Uh, he's an outstanding man and an outstanding builder uh, and player and teacher above, above all things. So I, I hope that, uh, I'm sorry about the images guys, but that one, but <laughs> it's, it's me. What do you want? It's a stick in a box kind of guy. So there, I hope you uh, go check out Dell stuff. And Dell, if you're out there, man, thank you very much for everything that you do. You truly are an inspiration in this community. Thank you. Uh, next up, we have a uh, Kenneth B. We put this in the CB Giddy newsletter this past week. Uh, it was dropped on Thursday. I hope that you are subscribed. And there's a reason we put it in there is because this is awesome work. It's a hobo fiddle kit, like the hobo fiddles that you see Ben playing here on stage, but we sell a kit as well uh, put together. Uh, from the imagination of Ben Giddy himself. And I wanted to share this kit in particular, or these images of these kit in particular, because Kenneth B. took the time to, like last week when we shared the uh, the Cranberry Crate G-Base, uh, and this, who the guy, I'm sorry, I can't remember his name. I'm so sorry about that. But he made that kit his own. It was fully personalized. Same thing with this. Kenneth B. has fully personalized this kit. In the next image, what you'll see is the tailpiece. Uh, this is not part of the kit. Uh, you'll, you'll see the tailpiece here. It's, it's just a nice design. It makes it, it makes the whole instrument pop. And uh, you can also see now in the next image, he used uh, C holes, uh, which do not come included on the kit. You can see that he treated the box top and he put C holes in there for sound holes. Uh, beautiful work, obviously very intricate. And then the, the last image that we have from Kenneth B's Hobo Fiddle Kit project is the headstock that matches the tailpiece, which I love. And a small detail that I hope that you can see here is the string retainer. Uh, he made his own string retainer and just added, you know, out of the same wood that he made the neck uh, and added his own flair to it with the, uh, the, the, the hilly look, the recesses, whatever, the, the heart look on the top there. It is just top notch stuff. It again is taking a kit and rather than just, which is great if you just assemble it and play music on it, there's nothing, in fact, that is terrific. But when you take it and make it your own, and when you actually, when you put your touches on it, that's, it's, it brings it to a whole nother level and uh, another level. And uh, I'm really psyched that you, sh you shared this with us, Kenneth, because I was happy to have it here and in this past week's Giddy Newsletter. So thank you very much. And in the next images we have, speaking of Giddy Newsletter, we got to Marcel, our friend over there in Deutschland. I'm spitting again. Excuse me. That's what I do. Uh, Deutschland, he, he got himself an old time at Bluegrass songbook from Ben Giddy Baker, and he writes of it, got this book in the mail today, I'm very happy with it, thanks for putting it on Amazon.de, it saved a lot of money on shipping and import taxes, and that is something that Ben works hard on doing. This is not just, although the bulk of our uh, community, our customer base is here in the United States. We have plenty of people in the UK and all throughout Europe and in, obviously in this case in Germany where Marcel is residing and it's hard to get products out of the borders of this country and many thousands of miles away without tacking on enormous shipping charges. It's just 
impossible. So when we have the ability, which Ben works hard at doing, to have drop shippers in other areas of the world so that they can just get the merchandise they want from us without having to pay these exorbitant import taxes, it's a, it's a pleasure to know that, that, we, that Ben works hard at doing that, and it's a pleasure to know that Marcel's taking advantage of it. So thank you very much for your support, for getting that songbook. I hope that you enjoy the heck out of it. I know that we are. So awesome stuff, Marcel. Next up, who do we got? Tyler G made this. He posted this elsewhere. I just pulled it off the internet because I thought it was so cool. He built this uh, three stringer, this slide, three stringer slide out of a crutch. And the whole thing's cool. I mean, you can see the the, the six pole pickup that he got from CB Giddy with the, the volume and tone. He's got the Shane Spiel tuners on it, he, which you may not be able to see, uh, but he's got a clear acrylic fretboard from CB Giddy on there. Uh, to uh, obviously to denote where the frets are, uh, but one of the cool or the coolest thing, the thing that stuck out to me the most about it is he took the I'm sorry I don't know the technical term the armpit support from the crutch and he put it on the bottom there and that's where he installed the uh, the jack plate the black ovoid jack plate that he got from us and the, uh, the pickup and the controls I just awesome stuff. Uh, I really like your ingenuity, Tyler. If you see this, I'm really psyched that you share this in the uh, Friends of Giddy Facebook group. And about it, he wrote, I couldn't, uh, I couldn't f uh, figure out where to put the control, so I improvised, which is why you see where that MR pit rest is, and now it becomes a leg rest. Smart kid stuff, Tyler. Thank you very much for sharing that with us. I think it's awesome. Next up, we got from a longtime Cigar Box Nation member, Dave, L Dave L., who is an artist that we've talked about here on the Giddy Gang show before. Dave got himself a custom printed box from Ben Giddy Baker using the UV ink cured process. Uh, it makes for an outstanding image. In this case, it's the Minnesota girl. I think that is a, uh, a tip of the hat to his home state, if you will. A beautiful box. And Dave, if you don't know, always does incredible work. Speaking of which, in the next image, what you'll see is the headstock or a... Uh, a decoration on his headstock he took dave writes uh, a piece of uh what is it now purple heart no, no no dark mahogany excuse me dark mahogany fingerboard scrap and using a rotary tool and a sanding drum he just shaped this old man uh moon that he put onto the headstock of his uh minnesota girl guitar i just I, I love seeing Dave, Dave's, uh, Dave's, uh, Dave's artwork, his craftsmanship, and uh, if you haven't been to Cigar Box Nation to see his videos, he's an outstanding player as well, uh, which is part of the reason why we included him and also in this past week's uh, CB Giddy newsletter. He just he's a great performer, playing really nice old tunes and, uh, with, a, with a great style and uh, panache, if you will. So awesome stuff, Dave. Again, I, I hope that you see this because I, I want you to know how much I admire you and appreciate what you do. Uh, next up, we have from Frank F. Posted in the face, Friends of Giddy Facebook group, a simple hand drawing done by his daughter. He writes, my seven-year-old little girl drew this for me in school yesterday. It pulled right on my heartstrings. I love this kind of stuff. You can see it torn right out of the notebook, the notebook paper. She's uh, decorated with hearts all around. Got a heart right there in the middle because you know she loves her daddy. And uh, I just... You know, I'm, I'm not a dad, and uh, so this kind of stuff, it, it, you'd be surprised, it really speaks to me. It's uh, really cool, and I'm really psyched that, uh, it's a small thing, but I'm really happy that Frank shared it with uh, the rest of the world, because it's, it's good to see. Next up we have from John D, uh, a cigar box liar. Look at that, you can even see on the back side there, that he's got hand, he crafted those little tuning pegs, those machine heads, whatever, do those tuning pegs. He writes, my son was studying in ancient Egypt, uh, in a sixth grade class, and I had to do a pro and had to do a project for their museum exhibit. Uh, he was really into guitars. His son is really into guitars and music, so naturally wanted to do a project about ancient Egypt instruments or ancient Egyptian instruments. Excuse me. So we built this cigar box lyre. We hand carved the tuning pegs and tuned it to whatever sounds good. I like your style. Uh, it was a lot of fun building this with my son. I know he will remember the experience forever. Thanks, CB Giddy, for the creative inspiration you give me. Thank you, John D., for sharing this with us. Because, again, uh, having uh, children involved and the kind of inspiration they give us with their, their small tokens of, uh, for, of appreciation, with their, with their contributions, with their, their perspective and their ideas. I love seeing people out there building instruments with kids. It's, it's just <laughs> top-notch stuff. Awesome. Thank you very much, John D. Next up, we have from Cigar Box Serenaders. I think it's Brett Gardner. Oh, oh sorry, Brett G. But uh, Cigar Box Serenaders built this little bad rabbit, and he writes, uh, At a recent workshop with kids, we made canjos out of cardboard tubes, fishing line, and cat food cans. The student's imagination went above and beyond. I love it. 
Uh, I love that you're you're improvising. You're, you're taking the uh, the repurposed homemade instrument thing to the next level and uh, showing kids that they don't need a million dollars to uh, to buy a store bought instrument that they can do these things for themselves with the things that they have available to them at home. Awesome stuff. Thank you very much, Brett, for sharing that. And last up is a little picture from Steve K. Speaking of the kids, look at this guy. Uh, Ch Steve K. writes, this is his son with his new Leon Redbone hat. And uh, I, even right now, when, when I first saw this picture to right now, I can't help uh, but smile. I think that's just a great shot. Nice fedora holding the cigar box guitar. Uh, you got to cut that wire. You got to cut that uh, cigar box. You got to cut that, the guitar string that's coming off the tuna pick. It's right there in your kid's face. But other than that, I think it's awesome. Good stuff, Steve K. Really psyched that you shared that. It made me smile, and I hope it brings a smile to your face out there. And that has been the, uh, the waddiest corner of the day. <laughs> That's the one.